Standby, Mr. Oh, okay. Standby? Yeah, thank you very much. All right, so what we're doing is uh, we're going to be uh, cutting open uh, the lead and uh, de-energizing this uh, home that we're going to upgrade to the panel and service. So he's over there ring clean and not styrene this time. So we could uh, open it and de-energize it. The tag's there with the address already, so we pretty much identified it. So we're going for it. Stand by. All right, so we hacked one open already, and we, we did determine that it is the right address and right service so we're going for it all cutting all three of them open now And as I was saying, as you can see right here, it's like number four, almost looking like number six, kind of. But with the insulation and the lead on there, it makes it look like it's number two uh, copper, but uh, it's like number four. So anyway, he's going to take, once again, his two papers off and uh, use the, um, what are you looking for? My gas pliers. All right, the gas pliers. Somewhere down in the midst of anything. How about right there? Nope. Nope. All right, and using the old school gas pliers to uh, take all the roughness out of the lead. And without taking those papers off. Now he can because he already done what he had to do. Oh, yeah, what's the date on that thing? I can't see it. Let me see. Four. Um. This little strip, almost all the lead cable has this little strip in there. And a lot of times it gives you the the uh, sequential feet, like it says right there, the FT. And it would usually give you a date on there, which we couldn't see it on this one. So, uh, something else to look for. Again, we got our two half left layers of silicone and half inch over the, the uh, lead. And you could either cut it now or put some rubber over it, and then we we'll hack it and put our cable cap on there. All right, she's cutting it clear. All right, you can cut, uh, check the other phase. Check, one more later, go check the other phase. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, at this time we're all 
right, at this time we're all de-energized. All right, thanks. I'll let these guys know they can start working on uh, their thing. That is correct, the mundo. See now, both of them are number four. But like I was saying once again, it, uh, it's kind of deceiving when you look at it from the uh, left side of it, and uh, it looks like number two. But most of these homes here are all fed with that lead number four. Alrighty, stand by. All right. Well, as you guys can see that. Uh, the cable. Hey, four rod KVS is. Yeah, we couldn't get the cable out, so now what happened is it broke, and uh, now we have to put some KVS and do a little bit of rough rigging here to be able to hopefully get the lead out. Because as you can see, the duct is very narrow, and it's uh, with the uh, with water and time, the uh, galvanized ducting system here has uh, kind of it. What it does it. Uh, it gets uh, like uh, explodes in a way of rust and it kind of grips the uh, lead and that becomes a problem for us to try to get that out. So anyways, uh, the swelling is what causes it to, to grip that lead big time. All right. Take it. Gun. Oh, what are you looking for? Even though we do a lot of this rigging stuff, it's kind of important what, that you get those KVSs put on there right and uh, position right in order to get that lead out, hopefully without breaking any of the strands and, and the lead. cable itself now we're going to put one over the lead and part of the uh, cable strands that are there get 500 over the hole it come out so this is 500 that's going over the lead and part of the strands of the cable hopefully all that will hold so when we put a strain on it hopefully it all comes out together all right that's cool sure let's give it a little so we're pulling a strain on it and he did get movement on the other side but you always got to remember try to rig this is pretty good as best you can to make sure that lead and the cable doesn't come apart and all we get is the uh, cable coming out instead of all of it with the lead so I'm gonna rattle that a little bit more all right so he said he's got movement on the other side we're going to take it up a couple more, and hopefully she'll come out. We're rigging off with the chain hoist, one-ton chain hoist. All right, stand by. We couldn't get the whole lid out, but now at least we can take out the, uh, the cable from inside the lid. Whoa, oh, that broke. All right, stand by. Hopefully it'll come out. Tell them to go slow. All right, she's pulling good. Hopefully the cable won't bust. Yo! All right. It's just the cop. 
copper that's busting soft copper.